code for my computer craft 3x3 mining turtle. Um, the code is actually fairly simple, but it took me a while to think up, and it took me quite a while to fix all the bugs. Um, so yeah, this is just the paste bin. I uploaded it to paste bin. And if you want to use this, you're going to have to copy this little part at the end of the link. You can do that for any paste bin code. But I'm just going to call this world Mining Turtle. And then change it to Creative. I got to wait a moment. Okay, here we go. All right. So. I'm going to make a really quick uh, thing for the mining turtle, like a, I don't know, like a course that it'll have to go through. So I will, uh, I will be right back, guys. All right, guys. So here's the little place I built. So this is a test for the mining turtle. So first, what's going to happen is he's going to have to go through this uh, stone place that's a mix of gravel and stone. Next, he'll have to go through a little gap of air. Then he'll have to like go, like, do you see this gravel? Like, the gravel's four blocks tall, so it'll drop down on him while he's trying to mine. And then he'll have to go through another gap of air, and then he'll have to go over lava, and we'll see how he deals with that. And then he'll have to go through a whole bunch of like blocks that are there and aren't there, and and it doesn't actually have a ground, like if you see. So we won't be able to walk over it and follow this tunnel. So let's, uh, I'm just going to finish this up real quick. And so it's actually paste. If you want to get this code or any other code, type in paste bin get. And then like the thing at the end of the URL, as you can see, like right here. And then just type the name of the program. It doesn't matter, just whatever you're going to call later. So I, I downloaded it as mine, so I have to type in. It wouldn't have mattered if I would have said, like, Apple. I would have just had to type Apple down here. But I downloaded it as mine, so I'm just going to do mine. Tells me exactly what to do. Uh, so now you have to hold. Er, okay. Here, so then just type in mine. And then it'll go forward and it'll start breaking through the gravel. See, the gravel kind of screws it up a little bit, but you'll still have a hole to go through in the middle. And so you can see that he placed a torch there. And he's going through right now. He's pretty slow. There's no way to speed him up. It's just like the code is the turtle stuff is the all default so yeah and then so he's getting through the stone just fine and this gravel is going to be a little bit challenging for him and so we'll see what happens here So it looks like he's going to have to do quite a bit before he actually gets through this gravel. Because he's going to work on that. So he'll get through it. It just will screw him up a little bit. So yeah, that will be a bit of a slowdown while you're mining. And again, we can see that he still works and stuff. Like, it'll make a hole that a person could walk through, at least. Because if he can't move, then he'll just keep trying to mine it. Alright, so he's getting through this stone pretty well. And this could be ores, too. I just built this little thing. I might have already said this, but he obviously breaks a 3x3 three three area. So he's moving forward. He's checking to make sure he can't mine any of the blocks. No, he can't, so he's going to move forward again. There could be, like, blocks above this, too. Like, you never know. And look at, he's building a little bridge over this lava. 
so that's kind of neat. So yeah, and then he'll have to go through this part. You can see that he's breaking it. And he doesn't actually move his pickaxe when there's not a block. So as you can see, he's not actually like hitting with the pickaxe. And he hits it when he knows there's a block there. And you can see he'll just keep moving on through this little pathway. This is a tunnel. build a little bridge for us and I'll keep going and that I don't believe he can mine through the bedrock yeah I could have made it to where he'll like detect blocks and so he won't have to like do this weird thing where he like goes up in the air and turns around and stuff when, even when there's not blocks for him to mine but yeah I just wanted to show you guys this kind of cool code that I made I like it a lot better than the original code, the, the tunnel command. The only downside to this one is that you can't actually choose how long it's the tunnel's gonna be. It's just how much coal you put in. And I don't actually know. It'll refuel itself automatically and stuff like that. But I don't actually know how much coal is equal to how many blocks. And so, yeah, he can't actually mine the bedrock, so he's just gonna keep twirling around over here. Cool. Oh, yep, I just wanted to show you guys that code, and I'll see you later.